Hello and welcome to Sunday School here at Advent Lutheran Church in Mill Creek, Washington. We are so glad you have joined us today. My name is Bryant and today we are celebrating Trinity Sunday. On Trinity Sunday, we celebrate God in all three beings, in God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. If you were in worship today, you would have heard the Athanasian Creed. What is, what is a creed? Well, that's a great question that we are going to send you to Candle Clone to hear all about. Hello friends, Candle Clone here with you on this Trinity Sunday to tell you all about the creeds, and specifically the Athanasian Creed. Now, just like our scriptures in the Holy Bible, we have these things called creeds, which are written documents. These written documents come from the earliest days of the church, as a whole, from the early days when they were trying to figure out whether or not is Jesus God or is Jesus like God. And it is through these creeds that the church announced that Jesus was God, just as God the Father is God and the Holy Spirit is also another form of God. And that all sounds confusing. But back then, they would have large debates about this. And so the Church of Nicaea created what we know as the Nicene Creed. We also had the Athanasian Creed, which we will read today on Holy Trinity Sunday. It's actually the longest of the creeds. But each creed looks at the three parts of God and tells you why they are an important part of the one God that we believe in. And we use each of these creeds in different ways. For instance, we use the Apostles' Creed most often, and the Apostles' Creed we read during baptisms, or we read before we take communion to remind us of the wonders of our Trinity God. We use the Nicene Creed on special festivals or special holidays like Easter or Christmas or other festivals during the church season. And finally, we use the longest of the creeds, the Athanasian Creed, on Trinity Sunday to truly dive into the three parts of God. God the Father, Jesus Christ, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But Bryant, that's just a little diving into the creeds. I hope you take a chance to look up the Athanasian Creed, read it with your family, and look more into the history of how these creeds came to be. But Bryant, it's back to you. Thank you, Candle Clone. It is great to hear about these wonderful writings that not only we here in this Lutheran church use, but also churches all around the world use as well. From Presbyterians to Methodists to other Lutherans to Catholics, they see these words in these creeds and say, yes, this is true. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, today in our lesson, we are hearing about the calling of Isaiah because it is this calling that is one of God's many works that we hear about in the Bible. Today's reading comes from Oddly enough, the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, beginning with the first verse. You can either read it in your Bibles at home with your family, or we are going to be reading it from our Spark Story Bible. You can find the story on page 166. But with that, let's go ahead and hear the story 
of Isaiah's Call. Isaiah's Call. One day, just like any other day, something amazing happened to Isaiah. He saw God. God sat on a throne. Angels with six wings sat next to God. The angels used two wings to cover their faces, two wings to cover their feet, and two wings to fly. They sang, Holy, holy, holy is God. The wall shook, and so did Isaiah's knees. Isaiah was amazed. God was more awesome than Isaiah ever knew. One angel carried a hot coal and touched it to Isaiah's mouth. Guess what? The coal didn't burn. Instead, it took away the fear inside him. Who should I send to be a prophet for me? God asked Isaiah. Now, there was something new on his lips. Not a hot coal, but brave new words. Isaiah heard his own voice say, Send me. Here's an idea. Be like Isaiah. Surprise family members by saying, Send me when they need a helper. Who wants to help me do dishes? Send me! Who wants to give grace for dinner? Send me! Who wants to help set the table? Send me! Who wants to clean the windows? Send me! Now there was something new on his lips. Not a hot coal, but brave new words. Isaiah heard his own voice say, Send me. What an amazing sight to be able, even in a moment, to just see the robes of God and to see the angels surrounding him. I don't know if I would have known what to do in that moment. I believe my knees would have been shaking too. But we are called, just like Isaiah, to go out and tell the good news of God. And not only tell the good news, but show the good news through being kind and taking care of one another. I hope you find ways that you can say, send me this week, whether it's helping your families at home or maybe helping a friend or a stranger out in a way that maybe brightens their day. Now, it is time to he head over to Weather Clone outside and see what's going on with the weather. Well, a little sunny, a little breezy. I don't know, might rain later. Thank you, Weather Clone. Once again, Probably some of the best weather reporting I have ever seen. And finally, it's time to go over to Arts and Crafts Clone to hear about the activity and coloring pages you can find on our website. Hello friends, thanks Bryant. It is great to be back here with you. Today, we have some great activity and coloring pages for you to find on our website at www.adventlutheran.net. So, as always, you will find our family discussion page that talks all about Isaiah's call and reminds you that today is Trinity Sunday. And you will get to answer wonderful questions like, what would you say if you could ask God anything? Hmm. Well, the first thing that I would ask is, what is your favorite ice cream? I feel like that's an important question or just a fun question to ask to break the ice with God. But you will find that questionnaire and that discussion page on our website. Next, you will find our coloring page of Isaiah's call. There is Isaiah as he 
calls out to the angels and to God and says, send me. I am your servant. How exciting. What do you think? I believe if we read the story correctly, we saw the hem of God's robes, whatever that looks like. What would they look like in the picture, do you think? I would love to see what you draw. Next, we have our three activity pages for you. The first is, it says what? This gives you a chance to look at a few different things in the Bible and figure out some of these interesting events that happen all throughout the pages in your Bible, such as piles of quail three feet deep. That's crazy. I wonder where you can find that. Next, you will find our angelic scramble, where you will have a chance to unscramble all of these letters and place them to find out what the angels are saying to Isaiah. And finally, we have a wonderful word search that you can use to find these great words like angel and hem and robe and coal and Isaiah. But all of those can be found in the word search and will help you to figure out what the angels also tell Isaiah. So give that a once-over with your family. But Bryant, those are our activity and coloring pages for this week. We will see you next time. Thank you, Arts and Crafts Club. I can't wait until we are back together again on Sunday, June 13th for our first outdoor in-person worship service and to hear about the stories that you explore from some of those activity pages. What a wonderful thing. Now, as we get ready to leave today, I want to remind you to mark your calendars for our hybrid vacation Bible school this summer, July 11th through the 16th. You'll be receiving more information about it this week, so watch your email inboxes, look at our website, and continue to find our videos to hear more about all the ways that you and your family can participate in Vacation Bible School this summer, July 11th through the 16th. With that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and remember that you are called, claimed, and named Beloved Child of God. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for Isaiah. Thank you for the stories of the Bible. Let us enjoy this week and always send me. In your name we pray. Amen. Enjoy your week, and we'll see you next time.